Hey guys, just before we start, if you're new to my channel, just to let you know, I have a Patreon down below and I think that you click this video because you're a bookish person. So if you are, just to let you know that in my Patreon, I'm sending out lots of bookish type stickers to everybody who's on the book tier this month. And if you wanna grab a couple of those, very handmade stickers by me and maybe a note and stuff, then please check out my Patreon down below and that will be amazing of you. Thank you very much. Uh, here's the video, thank you, bye. Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we are going to do the 100 page challenge which I haven't done for a while and I'm really excited. If you're new here, you don't know what this is, the 100 page challenge is basically when I turn to the 100th page of a book and I get a prompt from reading this page. No matter what it could be, it could just be something that I'm inspired by by reading the page or the characters or an illustration about the book. It's kind of anything goes. Uh, when to unlock um, art block and things like that so let's get to reading this book The Alchemist if you guys don't know about this book it's a really popular book it was it's kind of about following your dreams and it's very romanticizing the idea of it's very romanticizing that doesn't make any sense Steph. I need to read more books. It's a very romantic. The main character is like, no matter what, doing what it takes to achieve what he thinks his dreams are. And it's a very inspiring book. Like if you read it, you're very inspired to pursue what you want to accomplish in life. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys know about it a little bit. And if you don't, maybe you can look it up now. Anyway, I'm gonna read the 100th page to myself and then I'll describe what's happening on the page if I can. Okay, so this page is basically describing our main character being in the Sahara Desert after he crosses from um, Algeciras in Spain. And yeah, he's traveling through the desert because he wants to get to Egypt, I believe. And he's just in this scene, he is by a campfire and it's kind of a camp area set up and there's like uh, different chieftains there and silk cushions and there's servants with silver trays of spices and tea and yeah that just really does kind of paint a really nice picture of this oasis that they mentioned and the tents and things so i have a really good idea here i don't want to draw like the scene as i'm reading it i want to do maybe hang on a sec i want to do maybe some small scenes again like i did in this video where i painted these small kind of house scenes but i want to do it of different desert scapes and I think that would be really interesting so taking away this prompt from this book of the desert scapes and creating that I think that will be a really fun little prompt to do so thank you the alchemist for that prompt and let's get to painting okay so after that very basic instruction that I gave at the beginning of this video about this book I realized that I should probably talk a little bit more about the alchemist um, I want to try and do a little bit more review of stuff, review of stuff, review the books a little bit better as I talk about them with my painting. And basically The Alchemist is about a shepherd um, called Santiago who lives and works in Spain and he is a young kid and he's decided that he wants to go and visit Egypt because he wants to find treasure so that he can get a lot of money so he can marry the girl of his dreams and you know be rich and live his life to the fullest so he thinks like he goes there and he goes over to Morocco I think in the beginning like he tra he travels across um, the straits to Morocco and he gets robbed quite quickly on early on in the in the book and um, he thinks that's gonna send him back home because he can't speak to anyone, he doesn't speak the language. And then he realizes that he can communicate with people via just understanding each other, which I think is a big um, point of the book, is like, we all are human and we all, on a certain level, understand each other. And he even has that with like his sheep and stuff like that that he obviously happens in the beginning, he can understand them. So he can understand these other human beings. And there's a lot of like symbolism in this book. So basically the sheep are the people living their lives who are not following their dreams. They're just happy and content with 
the life they're given and the things that they don't have to work well they do have to work for but they don't push themselves to follow their dreams basically so Santiago's dream is to get treasures beyond his wildest dreams and marry this girl that he's fallen in love with so he goes on this adventure and I don't want to spoil too much of the book but obviously he meets an alchemist in it and things develop and there's a lot more to it than that but I don't want to talk too much about it and ruin it because uh, if you haven't read this book then I think you should pick it up because it is really very inspiring. It's about really as I simplified at the beginning of this video following your dreams and being inspired to go for it even though it's hard and even though uh, things will definitely go wrong you will fail but you've got to keep going and pursuing things and I think I always take that into account in my own life now. I think everybody is going to fail and you're going to constantly fail. Um, it's good to fail, we all fail. I think when I first started YouTube I had like no subscribers but I kept doing it and steadily my videos would get better, I got more subscribers and I think there was always periods of stagnation with YouTube and periods of stagnation with my own art where I couldn't quite do what I wanted or I didn't think that I had the talent or enough skill set to create something like a comic and then I would go for it, I'd push myself and even if the result wasn't always what I wanted it to be, I would always push myself to keep going and I think that's a really important lesson that The Alchemist definitely drives home. Apart from that, it is a really like lovely, fantastical story and if you like fantasy, you would definitely like The Alchemist because it's sort of whimsical but fantastical at the same time but also kind of rooted in realism in the sense that it is kind of historical fiction because it is set in Andalusia in Spain and then Morocco and then the Sahara and then Egypt and yeah it's it's it, it pulls in elements from the past of those countries and it has definitely a very rich A very rich cultural context behind it for each uh, country that he visits and each place that he sees. I think it's really well written. I have re read another book by uh, Paolo Coelho. Coelho. I don't know how to say his name at all. I'm sorry. Uh, I have read another book by this guy called Adultery, and it was very different. I did not expect that. It was more about a woman cheating on her husband and it was really weird I was like some point this book is going to be similar to this one and it just wasn't it was a contemporary uh, book and it wasn't badly written but it was just a bit like I don't know I just didn't care about the characters or anything so I have a feeling that maybe his other books aren't as good as this one but this is definitely like the one that everyone speaks about talks about a lot and I don't know if you've read it let me know in the comments and if you read it did it affect you or did you Maybe you didn't like it at all. I haven't heard anybody who hasn't liked this book, but maybe you didn't like it. But yeah, so this obviously is very far removed from what I'm painting here because in my paintings I am just doing um, images that are inspired by the desert. Like, not necessarily the Sahara because as I found images that I really wanted to practice doing, I realised that they aren't all the Sahara because the Sahara doesn't look like that it looks like they're more deserts in maybe the Americas or somewhere else and yeah like I felt like I really wanted to be a little bit more experimental like I said I'm doing that that style um like free and easy expressionist style and I'm really leaning into it and I think like I, as I'm looking back because um a little private note here I've been moving house a week so I've been noticing like a lot of my sketchbooks my old sketchbooks from the past and things like that and looking at paintings and things that I've done I'm um, not even like that far ago in the past as well I'm talking like maybe a year or two and then maybe like five and I'm seeing like a real difference in what I enjoy painting not necessarily like my skill set because I obviously I think my skill set has gotten a bit better but I think what I'm doing now is definitely exploring something that I would never have explored so much in the past. I think so it's cool to compare the two. It's it's fun to see and find little 
random things from your past. But yeah, so bringing it back to The Alchemist, I hope that you guys are doing everything in your power to follow your dreams. Yeah, that's right. We're getting inspirational up in here. Okay guys, that is it for this challenge. I really do like the way these turned out. Maybe they're not all kind of Sahara desert type illustrations or backgrounds, paintings. I don't know what to call them, but I really like them. And I'm so glad that I did this challenge because it really helped me get out of that kind of art blocky zone and focus on what I enjoy. And I really like these top two the best, I think. These two not so much, but yeah. That's the end of this episode or challenge. And thanks for watching guys. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much to my patrons for your support. They are A Stabulum Shots, Lucille, Tim and Charlotte, Jacqueline, Alex, Noxemba, Steph, Eva, and Megaya. Thank you guys so much. It means so much to me. And I will see you next time.